Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. Coming off a 3 to 1 loss in their home opener against Marquette, DePaul were seeking their first win of the season against Xavier. Xavier held a 15 to 2 record against DePaul heading into the game. The this last time DePaul beat the Musketeers was a 1 to 0 win back in 2018. Specifically with this the wait is over as DePaul battled from Japanese behind to earn a 3 to 2 win in overtime. And what we An upset seemed to be in the in cards the midway through the first half as freshman forward Merrick Gonda scored his first um, goal of the season, putting DePaul on top in the 33rd minute. Less but than a minute passed, however, the before directory. sophomore forward Felix Botangen tied the game with his third goal of the season. You'd Xavier a, took the lead right before halftime like thanks to a goal by senior midfielder Bryce here, Curran. Uh, DePaul's short-lived lead was a bit against the run of play. Prior to the goal, F the Blue Demons had only mustered two shots, neither on goal. And if I tried Xavier, on the now, other hand, had so six I'm shots with four of them on goal. First, just so Coming out of halftime, DePaul managed to even things up and in the 62nd minute, when freshman midfielder Omar Ramadan scored his first goal of the season, tying the game off a free kick. The second half was a bit more physical with a series of fouls disrupting the game on a number of occasions. Neither team did any more um, damage in the last 28 minutes, so it went so into overtime. If I try to it was in overtime where the Blue Demons would uh, get their winning goal courtesy of freshman so midfielder Jacob Huth in the 107th minute. And I'm just it was the first goal of his collegiate career. It, uh, Redshirt it. senior Drew Newell finished the game with five saves. So the DePaul defense held is, firm um, limiting Xavier to only four shots uh, in the second half this. and only two in both so overtime periods. Right here, this string. The Blue Demons and were efficient the with their here, chances as they only had four shots on shows, goal and converted um, on three of them. This Gonda and senior midfielder Tim Iskra led the team with two a, shots apiece. There's a space. The win moves DePaul to 1-2-2 on the season. To that. The team's next game and will be at Wishfield on March 13th where they will take on Creighton. Just change the value of line itself so line 